Hello, everybody. Welcome to Lee Pitts Live. And where are we? We are at Black Men Rock of Southwest Florida, the first event annual. Uh, it hasn't been officially said that it's going to be annual, but it will. <laughs> and we're here at Calusa Sound, downtown Fort Myers, Florida, on the River District. If you're looking at us from anywhere around the country and you're wondering where is uh, Fort Myers, Florida, it's in the southwest quadrant of the state of Florida. In other words, we are across the street from Miami and Fort Lauderdale on the Gulf Coast water as opposed to on the Atlantic Ocean. So when you look at Florida dropping down into the, uh, the ocean as a peninsula, uh, we're on that side where you see those hurricanes going up towards uh, New Orleans, the Gulf Coast. This is a growing metropolis here. Caloosahatchee River is right there. The Caloosahatchee Bridge goes over and back from North Fort Myers to Cape Coral. One of the fastest growing areas in the country and black people here are on the move. I said all that to say black people here are on the move. I've done about 25,000 interviews and been covering the area for uh, at least 30 years with the television show. I hope I don't look any worse for the wear. But coming here to Black Men Rock of Southwest Florida is one of a kind. I haven't seen anything like this in 30 years. Here, the dapper gentleman, I will get to him, is the champ. The champ has gotten his belt in front of everybody. The champ. You'll find out what is he the champ of if you're not familiar with this area. This is Richard Smith, better known as Big Drove better known as Chef Dro, better known as the creator of A Night of Elegance, yes. better known as Yes Chef Speaks, a.k.a. one of Lee Pitt's last great friends. Let's bump you in. <laughs> man, you got Thank me you remembering so much, all that man. stuff. I yeah, got it yeah, down yeah, pat. Yeah, 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 you got it pretty good. Rob, first it's of all, good. congratulations on being selected as a black man rock of Southwest Florida. Thank How does you. it make you feel to have this award, man? You nice. know what? It's, uh, it's an honor. It's actually very humbling to, um, to be in the midst of you know, such great men and you know, to be honored as uh, someone that has a presence in the community. Mm -hmm. Now, did you get the memo that whenever you come on Leap is Live, you do not outdress the host of the show. <laughs> Did you get the memo, bro? Because we see, I said, I had my, I had my sister send that, that memo to you five times. You still come on the show outdressing me, bro. I, I didn't get the memo. Y'all little young whippersnappers. <laughs> it's got just, the it's red just, hat. It's thing. just accessory, man. It's, it's accessory. That's all. But you're clean. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Hey, when you walk up there in front of 250 people dressed like that, Cold blooded. Yeah. What kind of message were you trying to send to the young people and everybody else about black men and what we represent here? You know what? I'm here. You know, and you know, as as men, we really need to start, you know, basking in our manhood and our manliness. And we need to be at the forefront. People need to see us. We are the leaders. We are the people uh, that are uh, charged to lead our, our, our communities, lead our family, our wives. This is who we are. And we need to stand up to say, I am a man. That's right. I'm a man. And we have positive images of black men doing great things in this community. Mm -hmm. You are celebrated as one of the renowned chefs in the world, one of the top chefs in the world, and you are right here in Southwest Florida. Congratulations on receiving this award. Let me read it to everybody. Richard Smith, crown in the arts. Black Man Rock of Southwest Florida, September 3rd, 2022, presented to free, by Freely Give and Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity. Tell me about that phone call, that text, or that email when you were told that you were gonna be receiving this award. Tell me how all that went down. Um, it was a... Um it was a text. Uh, Karen and I are really, really good friends. We are actually um, members of the same church. Members of the same church, and we were in the same leadership class with uh, Dr. Glover. So we're, we're, we have each other's numbers, and her her husband Rod is Ron is a very good good friend of mine as well. And she basically uh, sent the text and said that I was being nominated for this, and it, it really, you know, I was like, 
I, I, you know, I didn't, I, I never would have thought <laughs> that someone would take what I do and honor it. But as, as time went on, I started saying to myself, when I started this company, I started it because I wanted, I wanted it to, I wanted it to move in excellence. And that was something that I was really, really keen on being, it's moving in excellence. And I wanted to bring a product to our community that they could appreciate. Um, because like I said in my acceptance speech, we are more than collard greens and fried chicken and, and hog mugs and, and things of that nature. So it was really, it, it was just really, it, it's really set me back uh, when I got that, when I got that text. Mm -hmm. What do you hope that everybody takes away from experiencing this historic event tonight? You know what? Um, you know, there's a, there's a, um, the battle of the sexes going on right now. It's popular to bash black women. Uh, it's popular to bash black men. And the, the problem with that is it's the black men that are bashing black women and it's the black women that are bashing black men. Other communities don't put a camera in front of them and start bashing their, their men. They hold their men up and, 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 and they, help, they, help, they hold them to a certain standard. They have their back. And vice versa, you don't see that happening in other communities with the men. They don't, you know, bash their women because they understand they can only go as far as their wife takes them. You know, when you look in these gated communities, you don't see single mothers in these communities. You see families. That's where we need to be. And it starts by acknowledging the black men as the leader. It starts by saying, black men, you rock, you are worthy. Everything that they're saying about you is not necessarily true. Every community has the bottom of the barrel. But we as a, as a people, as a community, we need to take away from this as we need to support our men a lot more than we're supporting. And don't get me wrong, our men do need to step up, yes. But that's just a small portion of us because as I look in that room, Correct. I see men mm -hmm. of standard, men of credibility, Men of finance, men of spirituality. Small portion fits into that negative category. Exactly. That's People just don't see it. A room full of men. And again, every man accepted their award, their award by saying or first acknowledging their wives. But the narrative is we're a community that don't believe in marriage or relationships or whatever. But there's a lot of that that does not exist. I couldn't have said it better myself. Congratulations again. There's no one more deserving. Richard Smith, renowned chef. How can people connect to you? Give them all that social media handles. Uh, everything is Yes Chef Creates. That's, uh, that's uh, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Patreon. Everything is Yes Chef Creates. The website is Yes Chef Creates as well. What would you like to say to uh, um, freely give under the leadership of Karen Spears and Phi Beta Sigma fraternity for putting on such a magnificent affair? You know what? I just want to thank you uh, again. I've already thanked you, Karen, but I just want to thank you one more time for acknowledging the fact that black men need to be put on a pedestal as well. Thank you to uh, Phi Beta Sigma as well uh, for coming, th coming through and, 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 and just making this an event that is going to just give men the credit that they so, so well deserve. And shout out to all the women of those men who have ha uh, received awards this evening as well. We'll leave it at that. Remember, Miami may have the oranges, 
but Black Men Rock of Southwest Florida has got the juice. Got the juice. We'll be right back with more honorees right here on Leap Is Live. <laughs>